Hi Cancer, this is your May 22nd through May 28th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll then do the X. Spread after that, we'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And at the end, we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love uh, this week. We have uh, the Seven of Pentacles, clarified by the High Priestess. Uh, then we have uh, the Six of Wands, clarified by the Page of Pentacles. We have the Three of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have Justice with the Sun and the Star. And uh, we also have the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Pisces, Libra, Leo, Aquarius, or pretty much any zodiac sign. You know what? Another zodiac sign had a kind of similar reading. <laughs> okay? You do have some kind of a event coming up. Even if you're not aware of it just yet, <laughs> you are going to be going to some kind of an event. Okay? Um, somebody may invite you, and by somebody I mean the person you're going to be dealing with. Or if you really are going somewhere, then uh, this is where the two of you will meet. Okay, and uh, actually the person you're dealing with, they are anticipating it. They are waiting for it, perhaps even preparing for this event. Right, speaking of events, the Three of Cups right there in the middle. That's the event right there. The Three of Cups could also be a card of a reunion. You know, for some of you, you could be going to some kind of a reunion. But for most of you, it is a party. Could be a Gemini's birthday party, even though we don't have a Gemini on the table. Um, it could be, um, you know, a concert, show, game, uh, what have you, okay? <laughs> and uh, the first card that came out is the Seven of Pentacles, clarified by the High Priestess. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of waiting, and I think it's this person who is already waiting for this event, or they will be waiting for this event, after the two of you get acquainted at some point earlier, right? The High Priestess clarifying it could be a Pisces you're dealing with, but the High Priestess is a card of intuition, and most importantly, in, in this particular case, it's a card of something uh, hidden, right? So perhaps this person prepared something, or you're just not aware of the fact that this person is waiting. <laughs> Some of you could be preparing a surprise birthday party for a Gemini. That's why I kind of remember, uh, mentioned it, right? Um, perhaps you are preparing something else or they are preparing some kind of a party or an event or what have you. But for most of you they're just simply waiting for it and you're not aware of it. So here they come with the six of ones clarified by the Page of Pentacles. Right? Uh, the Page of Pentacles, it could be something tangible, something you can touch. It could be tickets to that game, to that concert, to that show, or perhaps if you are going to a birthday party it could be a present that they will bring or you will or both of you will. Um, perhaps with the Page of Pentacles, it's a potluck party and everybody is supposed to chip in, you know, bring your own food type of deal or something like that. Um, and the, the Six of Wands that the Page of uh, Pentacles is clarifying, it's a card of attention. It's a card of victory and success. They're hoping to win you over. They're, you definitely have this person's full and undivided attention. So, like I said, there's a lot of scenarios as to what exactly uh, is happening here. But like I said, there's definitely either a party or an event of some sort that uh, you're going to be going to. Okay? And uh, the rest is history. The rest is history. Every single card in the potential outcome is a major arcana card. You know, I think it's like, it's like a trend lately. Because I've seen um, all major arcana cards in uh, in the potential outcome, not just for you, for another couple of zodiac, at least a couple of zodiac signs. <laughs> Anyway, those are amazing major arcana cards by themselves and especially together. You're basically getting uh, what you deserve. You, you are, it's a wish come true. And uh, you do have the sun right there in the middle. The sun could be a Leo you're dealing but it's the happiest card in the deck. You know, it's the happiest card in the deck. Justice to the left could be um, a Libra you're dealing but again this is you're getting what you deserve with the justice card it could be karma you know it's a common misconception for a lot of people they think that karma is bad or negative absolutely not you know not necessarily it could be but it doesn't have to be if you strip karma <laughs> to bare bones it is either negative or positive it's more complex than that but just to explain it in the simplest terms, yeah, it's either bad or, or good for you. So if you've been a good boy or good girl, you're definitely getting some, some good karma coming your way. You know, justice could be 
uh, an actual place where people get married, like a chapel, you know, uh, just as could be in the legal system. And uh, the star right next to the deck could be uh, an Aquarius, you know, but the star is a card of a wish come true. Something people usually wish for or hope for, for a very long time. The four on ones on the bottom of the deck, some people call it the 1111 card. To me personally, the four on ones always reminds me of an actual wedding or some kind of a celebration. But it is a card of a commitment to marriage. You know, perhaps you're going to an engagement party. <laughs> I don't know. But hopefully the four ones will play out for you, uh, Cancer, right? It could be your engagement party at some point in the future. It could be your wedding at some point in the future. All right? Really happy for you, Cancer. Congratulations. Cancer, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this bed is for you. Uh, we have the Hangman, the Ace of Cups, uh, Temperance, and uh, the Five of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, you guys either got into a fight and uh, you'll be bearing a hatchet this week, or perhaps you will realize that your relationship or marriage is not the same it used to be. Okay, and this week there's going to be like a revival or a rejuvenation <laughs> of your uh, connection, okay? Um, yeah, the Five of Cups on the bottom of the deck, this card has always to do with the past, all right? It's a card of regretting the past, grieving the past, reminiscing the past, thinking about the past. So for some of you, it's because you guys got into a fight, or will be getting into a fight. Um, or for, I think, most of you, it's just thinking of the way things used to be, okay? It used to be much happier, you guys used to do all kinds of things together, you know, it was more loving. And perhaps now it became a bit uh, boring and stale, right? The hangman, the first card that came out, is a card of stagnation, nothing happening, right? And it's also a card of a sacrifice, and it could also be a card of an epiphany for some of you. So for some of you, the hangman is a uh, time period after the two of you got, uh, got into that fight. So you went to your separate corners and you were looking at each other, <laughs> not trusting each other, things like that. Um, or it could be an epiphany um, that, yeah, let's do something about this. Let's bring the spark back into uh, this connection. And uh, speaking of sparks, here comes the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is genuine, authentic love. All right, so if you got into a fight, you'll bury the hatchet and um, you're going to be making up. Um, or it's that rejuvenation, right? It's that revival, a jolt, if you will, of your relationship, a spark. All right, Temperance right next to the deck could be a Sagittarius union, but Temperance is a card of healing. And Temperance is also a card of very patient energies, all right? So, yeah, I think you guys will, uh, your relationship or marriage will get back on track, all right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Cancer, uh, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have uh, the Ace of Cups, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, we have the Devil, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. We also have the Sun and uh, the Fool on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Fire Sign. Here is Leo Sagittarius. This is one interesting spread, Cancer. First of all, um, well, everything is very, very interesting <laughs> about this spread. We have two Aces on the table. Not one, but two. Okay? And then we have um, every single fire sign represented here by their major arcana cards. What's one of their major arcana cards, right? The Wheel of Fortune could be a Sag, uh, the Sun could be a Leo, the Fool could be an Aries. And uh, we also have the Devil here, okay? So, yeah, the Devil could be a Capricorn you're dealing with. But, you know, the Devil not necessarily have to be a negative card. Again, it could be a Capricorn you're dealing with. If it's not a Capricorn, with all the other cards we have on the table, the Devil, I think, is just simply somebody unable to let you go, or you are unable to let them go, or it could be mutual, right? In the Devil card, there's two people, right, on the bottom of the card. Two people, not one, but two. <laughs> so it could be mutual, and uh, since we have uh, two aces on the table, one of those aces could belong to you, and the other ace could belong to your person. Okay, so both of you really, really want to get back together. That's that's how it feels. It does feel mutual, right? The wheel of fortune could be a card of uh, going somewhere. The wheel of fortune could be a card of restarting a cycle between you two. The Sun, uh, if it's not a Leo you're dealing with, then the Sun is the happiest card in the deck. And uh, the Fool, 
If it's not an Aries you're dealing with, then the Fool is starting from a clean slate. This is a second chance card when it comes to X spreads, right? Letting go of what happened between the two of you, water, water under the bridge, let's give it another shot. And I think both of you are looking forward to it. Alright, cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Cancer, this week. We have Temperance, the Will of Fortune, uh, the Emperor, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, and we also have the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I don't think Zodiac signs really matter in this particular case, Cancer. And by the way, if I ever wanted uh, work, business, and finances spread for myself, I would probably want it to look like this. I gotta be honest with you. It's just an awesome spread. <laughs> Um, you've got everything going for you here. We've got three major iconic cards, Temperance, the Will of Fortune, the Emperor. Um, we've got the Knight of Pentacles clarifying the Emperor and the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So yeah, the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is a card of collaboration. You know, and uh, this card often comes through as a card of a workplace environment or business place environment. It could be somebody who wants to hire you, right? It could be a side gig or consulting gig for some of you. Um, or it could be a full-time job, right? Um, it could be a promotion. It could be a promotion for some of you, especially if you've been waiting for it. Patiently waiting for it. Working towards it and uh, hoping that you'll get it. And this week, there it is, right? So 10 points, the first card I came out. It is a card of patience in this case, okay? The Will of Fortune um, is the start of a cycle, so your patience is paying off. You could be going on a business trip for some of you. If that's the case, then you're going to kill it. But uh, for most of you, it's either that job that you always wanted, and it's starting. It could be that consulting or side gig, or it could be a promotion, okay? The Emperor, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, I think that's you. The Emperor is a boss figure, alright? So you're definitely taking it to the next level. And the Knight of Pentacles, it's a pile of cash. <laughs> right? If it is a pro promotion, obviously you're going to be making more money. If it's a new job, then it's going to be on the next level up, right? Then you're going to be making more money. Or perhaps it could be a sign-up bonus or something like that. It could be other perks that the, co the new company will throw at you. Alright? So yeah, this looks awesome. Congratulations. Let's see what you're not expecting to, to happen uh, this week, uh, Cancer. We have the King of Cups, the Queen of Swords, the Six of Wands, and we have uh, the Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and an um, air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So here's the deal. This could be directly or indirectly related to you. The King of Cups, the first card that came out, it could be you, right? You are a water sign, the King of Cups is most likely a water sign as well. And uh, the Queen of Swords in the middle is most likely an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or somebody with um, air in their chart. But um, the King of Cups could be somebody else. It could be a couple that you know, right? And that couple is doing something uh, very interesting, <laughs> okay? <laughs> right? Um, there could be um, a proposal. There could be uh, taking the, their existing relationship to the next level, right? If this, if you are the King of Cups, then uh, something is brewing here. Something is being taken to the next level. All right, that's how I see it. There is th this spread could be about work, business, and finances for some of you, right? But for most of you, I think it's about love. Here's the here's why I think so. The Page of Pentacles could be something tangible, something you can touch. And uh, the Six of Wands right next to the deck used to be called the Proposal card. So what do people usually receive and give <laughs> during a proposal? A piece of jewelry in a small box. That Page of Pentacles could be that. The Page of Pentacles could be a key to someone's place, to their apartment, to their house, what have you. Right? And uh, that would symbolize taking that connection to the next level. Okay, so again, it could be you who is uh, uh, participating in it, or perhaps what you're not expecting is another couple going through this process. Alright, so yeah, that's what I have for you, uh, Cancer, for this reading for this uh, week. If this video resonates with you, please like it, please also share and subscribe, and other than that, Cancer, have an amazing week.